It's your boy Nirgun in the house, back with another bang on video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable news for you guys because I have got a future update of Matteo Genduzzi. How exactly? You know, there are certain Arsenal fans who don't want Matteo Genduzzi at all. I've uh, I've been to Twitter and uh, it's not been a very good place to talk about Matteo Genduzzi. But one of the Arsenal's uh, legends has also spoken about him. More on it. And what did Arteta say about Matteo Genduzzi's future? Because uh, he had a press conference about the FA Cup game against Sheffield United on Sunday. So he had a press conference yesterday, and he has opened up about the future and also the players that he that is that are making him happy, and also more players linked to Arsenal. So if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, you better think twice over it because this is the best place to be and to the best place to get all the news at one place. But moving on. Mikel Arteta was asked about the reports that Matteo Genduzzi has said that he would not be against leaving Arsenal this summer, but did not deny it as well because he said all the players that are here, I'm counting on them. If they want on the boat, they are more than welcome, and that's always my mindset. Well, he was actually refused to discuss speculation about Genduzzi that he could leave, and says that if uh, players uh, want to jump on the boat, they are more than welcome. Also, he said Arteta hails the effort and commitment of Hector Bellerin. Shaka's 1,000% committed in the whole Arteta project, and Arteta admits youngsters playing more than they should. So it's pretty much clear that the whole idea is to play more and more youngsters and get more and more out of them. Well, not only this, certain important sources have been indicated that from the players' camp and the club suggest that Thomas Partey is on his way to Arsenal this summer. So this summer, the possibility of Thomas Partey signing for Arsenal is not bleak, but more brighter than ever. Well. Danilo Pereira, I actually spoke about him yesterday in one of my videos that he's a midfielder for playing for Porto. And the problem is he earns approximately 48k a week wages. So his wages would not be uh, prohibitive for Arsenal, while his likely transfer fee represents a much cheaper alternative to Thomas Partey. Danilo is open to move to Premier League at the end of the season, according to certain sources as well. But not only this. Uh, let's talk about uh, the problem is Orkun Kokchu will not be coming to Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely not soon because he has right now signed a new contract of uh, an extension with Fire New Rotterdam. Well, uh, he has extended his contract to 2025, and Fire New actually, you know, uh, tweeted it out saying that their player has actually extended with them. And also, Arteta hints at his need for experienced players. He says, "We have some great young players, but they played more than they should. But we also need other players to support them in the right way. And for this reason, we are trying to achieve this balance to be very competitive." Well, not only this, Arteta spoke about whether Liverpool are an inspiration for what he'd like to achieve with Arsenal. He says, "Well, yes, because they were in a very difficult position four years ago, and they made a lot of right decisions. Some very difficult decisions, some unpopular decisions, but the right decisions for them." I think they have a very clear philosophy in the way they want to play, the way they approach every single game, and then they have they also have really good recruitment starting from the staff, coach, and all players that they've signed specifically for the way they want to play. So it's pretty much clear. One 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 person we will call all the players who are going to come, who are going to go out of the system. It is going to be the head coach. Well, Alan Smith tweeted out his support for Theo Foley. He, he tweeted, Devastated to hear about the passing of Theo Foley. He was a kind, generous and a very funny man, respected and loved by everyone at Arsenal. Thinking of Sheila and family at this tragic time. Rest in peace, Theo. Well, moving on. Michael Arteta claims Ranin Chaka has always been a leader and is delighted the club's fans can now hear his booming, booming voice. Well, Shaka was stripped of the captaincy, we all know, under uh, former boss uh, Munai Emery. But smiling when asked about Shaka, Arteta said he is a natural leader. He is always 100% committed, not just for himself, but for his teammates all the time. I'm happy you can hear him. Well, hopefully, and talking about uh, Shaka to be few captain again in the future, Arteta said, hopefully I have 24 captains. There's not one way to be a captain. Be yourself, express yourself and play with passion. Well, Mesut Ozil was mercilessly mocked by Arsenal fans for using an umbrella during the game against Southampton. Uh, well, he have now earned one million without playing since the restart. But uh, here's what the fans uh, took to Twitter to mock Mesut Ozil. One tweet caption says, Mesut Ozil, Arsenal 2019-2020 skills plus highlights HD. Another one tweeted, Ozil is going to be chilling under that umbrella, earning 350k a week until his contract runs out. A third one quoted out that Ozil dropped motivational quotes through this week only to end up sitting under an umbrella. <laughs> well, that's the truth. I'm sorry to say, but that is the truth. Moving on. 
Part of the reasoning in deciding to re-sign Gitavi Luiz and give Cedric Soares a four-year contract earlier this week is Arteta's desire to add more maturity and leadership to the squad. A profile senior figures at Arsenal believe Danilo fulfills the whole situation as well because Granit Xhaka has opened up about the whole situation. What happened? What is the impact of him playing and not playing with Arsenal? He says, we didn't play well last week at Man City and then we were a bit unlucky at uh, Brighton but yesterday we played very very compact we were aggressive in a lot of duels and we deserved the three points well Arsenal continue to retain interest in Partey but they cannot meet his 50 million euros buyout clause there is a report which suggests that and Porto are willing to sell Danilo for 20 million pounds due to FFP despite their 60 million euros release clause Danilo earns approximately 40k a week as I already told you he could be a cheaper alternative but more on it we have got an important news while talking about the bigger play, bigger picture, Danny Ceballos has again opened up about his future. He says, the owner of my future next year is me. The next year I want to play and I will hardly be able to do it at Real Madrid. Betis, it is an option. I do not close the door to play in any club. I do not rule out continuing in the Premier League as well. Well, moving on, Mikel Arteta has, spoken about, has actually spoken about Kieran Tierney. If he's injured or not, he says, Kieran was cramping. He hasn't played two games together in the last seven or eight months and he was suffering. The weather is different to Scotland and he needs to adapt to it. And that is the reality, isn't it? Well, not only this, let's talk about uh, certain sources which mentioned actually uh, that ESPN reported first that uh, Porto FC's midfielder is being linked with Arsenal. But the problem is, the, the reports are not true. Well, uh, there are certain sources that could not verify ESPN's report that Porto FC are willing to let Danilo leave for 20 million euros. The club turned down a 30 million euro bid last summer. So you can understand that the clubs will know their, know their players worth completely. So that's, that's why they would want to hold on to their prize assets. Well, Arsenal have scored five goals on their way to FA Cup quarterfinals this season. Four of them have been scored by Academy Products and the one that wasn't was set up by an Academy Product. So it's pretty much clear that Academy Products have ruled the roost when the, uh, you know, uh, at least in terms of FA Cup for Arsenal. Well, not only this, Tottenham have now entered the race with Arsenal and Chelsea for Lille defender Gabriel Magalish. Well, Spurs have launched a £27 million bid for the player to try and grab him from under the noses of their London rivals and the Italian side Napoli. The 22-year-old Brazilian centre-half has made 24 appearances for French side this season. Mourinho knows centre-half is the position he ne most needs to strengthen. Jan Vertonghen is set to leave next month on a free transfer, although Toby Alderweireld signed a new contract. Mourinho has question marks over his pace. Robin Van Persie has revealed why he left Arsenal for Manchester United. He says, you can compare me being at Arsenal to being married. Me and my wife, Arsenal, were married for eight years. After eight years, my wife possibly got a bit tired of me. Those are the facts. If Arsenal are not offering you a new deal, you can have different views on the things. But the fact is, Arsenal never offered me a new deal. Then you have to look around. I was ambitious. I still wanted to win the league. That is life. Well... Uh, more he added he says one of the main facts was that Arsenal got tired of me that was a starting point they didn't offer me a new deal we had loads of chats with Wenger and Ivan Gazidis they gave me no decision to make so it was pretty much clear go to a rival club moving on Jamie Redknapp has questioned Eddie Nketiah's Leeds United loan spell following his impact at Arsenal he says incredibly it really is I, it, it makes you wonder why it didn't work out for him at Leeds what I like most about that interview is like he said I like to be a nuisance because a lot of players want to be silky and show their class, show their elegance. He knows that if he does that, he can make it at the top level. He starts the press, like he said, he's the first to go and close the centre-backs. Sol knows what it's like. If you got a striker that lets you have it, don't put, any under, uh, uh, don't put you under any pressure. That's the dream. Well, moving on. Well, talking about the bigger picture, Arsenal are linked again with Felipe Kitchen. It looks like Kia Jurapchian is working his socks off to get... Uh, uh, continue back to Arsenal. Uh, continue to Arsenal. He's working really hard for it. But more on it. Arsenal are in advanced talks over Dominic Zobozolai. Arsenal are in advanced talks to sign Red Bull Salzburg midfielder Dominic Zobozolai. Arsenal's interest in Zobozolai since last summer has increased right now with a club swoop possible this summer. The 19-year-old who has 10 goals and 16 assists in 37 games across all competitions this season has been earmarked as a replacement for Mesut Ozil. And uh, it is, uh, you know... PSG asked about Dominic Zabozolai, profile quite similar to that of Milinkovic Savic. Other big clubs on it, but the player's entourage was probed and not insensitive to interest. Cost 25 to 30 million euros. Arsenal and AC Milan are well advanced. So it's pretty much clear that 
Arsenal are interested in signing Dominic Zabozalai. Arsenal are also unbeaten in the nine Premier League games. Granit Xhaka has started in under Mikel Arteta, excluding the Manchester City where he actually got, uh, uh, you know, he, he got off injured in the fifth minute itself. So that does not count. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And don't forget to subscribe because we're on a mission of reaching 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.